Hey yo, hope y'all are doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing one of my favorite shop tools that I've owned for about three years now. I bought this tool with my own money. This is not anything that Snap-on has given to me or asked me to review for them. I bought this about three years ago and I've been using it roughly once a week on average, I would say professionally. I'm gonna be going over how to use the tool and my personal impressions of having owned this tool for several years and why I think if you're a professional mechanic, you have got to get one of these for your toolbox. It's the best cooling system tester that exists. Maybe not necessarily this snap-on tester, but just any shop air-powered cooling system pressure tester in general is far superior to a hand pump style. It comes in the typical snap-on plastic box that most of these kinds of tools come in. Nothing on the box for me has broken over the last three years that I've owned it. Along with the tester, it includes three very common cooling system adapters as well as an extra O-ring and some literature that you're never gonna use. The tester itself is a pretty basic tool. It's got all metal construction with this handy hook here that you can use to hang on the hood of whatever vehicle you're testing. The gauge itself, an on-off valve here, and the pressure regulator. Like I said, it's an all-metal construction except for this knob right here, but I haven't had any issues dropping it, anything breaking on it. A nice long hose to feed down to wherever your cooling system reservoir is. I've got this adapter here. It was not included in the kit. I had to buy this separately, but if you're a professional mechanic, you probably already have a half a dozen or a dozen other cooling system adapters anyway. This will work with all of your old cooling system adapters as well, so you're not gonna have to go out and buy all new ones. Just attach the adapter there. Release it. And then you attach your shop air supply to the bottom of the tester here. I feel like I shouldn't need to say this, but it is important. You are gonna need a compressed air supply of some kind to be able to utilize this tool. I've got my own air compressor here in my home garage that I can use for this to demonstrate. I'll be using this on my personal car, a 2009 Volvo S80. I'm doing a little video series on this car on my channel. If you wanna stop by there, leave a comment, like, and subscribe. The coolant leak that this car has is a great example of why this shop air powered tester is such a great tool. The leak that this car has is in a very difficult to see spot. It was not something I could see with a flashlight or just you know looking around the engine bay. I've already got my air compressor charged up so we don't need to listen to it running while we're doing this. All you have to do is turn the knob and as you can see you can hear the air. You can see the regulator going up. I don't think you'd ever need to use more than 15 psi to diagnose any cooling system leak on a car and you can already hear it leaking back here. And just like that, in 30 seconds, you've diagnosed a hard to find coolant leak. I love how easy this tool makes figuring out a problem like that. Instead of having to continually top off the cooling system reservoir and pump it up with a little hand pump and then hope you can figure out where the leak is, you can just utilize your shop air supply and listen and look for the leak. It's definitely the best cooling system diagnostic tool that I own. A great way that you can utilize this tool as well is if you have a smaller cooling system leak, and you need to get the car up in the air because you can't locate it looking down from the top of the engine bay into the engine bay. You need to raise the car up in the air rather than pumping up a little hand pump and hoping that it holds pressure long enough for you to get the car up in the air and actually spot the leak. You can just leave the pressure regulator on whatever PSI you feel like you need to diagnose the leak raise the car up, it'll hold the pressure for the entire time and allow you to locate the leak precisely. It can also be useful for diagnosing blown head gaskets and being used as a cooling system flush tool and a pinch. You can use this shut off valve, although it's probably not gonna work very well on this particular kind of a cooling system leak, but if you suspect you still have a small leak or you just wanna test if the system's tight, you can regulate up the pressure and then close the valve that will separate these two. As far as pricing goes, I looked this up today. It's on Snap-on's website right now for roughly $300, I think $289, I believe it was. 
I paid less than 200 for this. I got it on sale. So it's definitely worth waiting for a sale on this if you're looking to get this. There are a couple of other, I don't know if I would call them knockoff brands, but they're a little bit cheaper. Not quite, they were still about $200 for one. Uh, I don't remember the tool manufacturer names, but it's still not cheap. I'm sure every tool truck manufacturer makes one. Would I recommend that you buy this? If you're a professional technician, I would say hands down, yes. Uh, you don't need to have a little hand pump cooling system pressure tester or something like this. This is the only cooling system tester that you need to have in your toolbox. If you're just a hobbyist, this is probably gonna be tough to swallow in terms of price and justification for getting something like this. I don't think you would use something like this often enough to justify spending two to $300. In that case, I'd go with one of the cheaper hand pump options. They're available from dozens of different manufacturers on Amazon for 50 bucks. And then you can get the adapters for whatever you need for pretty cheap as well. And like I said earlier, if you have a bunch of these style adapters already, you can just use them with this tool. You don't need to buy any other adapter. It will work right out of the box with all of them. Please go ahead and drop a like if you liked this video. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought. And go subscribe to my YouTube channel if you wanna see some more automotive and technician related videos. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Oh man, that was horrible.